guys, it is me, Sapio Gray, and we're back with another episode of The Walking Dead. I, hate being I thought so you got bit. Dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little, in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it, and that we didn't have to risk life and limb. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. I mean, I know, I know she's not gonna die, and I'm not gonna die. It's just hard to get used to. So That's all. We get over there, we grab the it's tank, and we get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. There it is! Let's take it and go. Probably from under the truck. Empty. No. You've got to be fucking kidding me! God damn it! Why would you do that? Of course it's empty. Why would we get that lucky? Hey, keep it down. I know it sucks, Kate, but you got to watch out. I'm sorry. I'm just sick of this shit. It's only the beginning. This one time, we deserve to catch a fucking break. Oh, oh. I needed that. You're a hammer now! See, sometimes you just gotta bash the kids school in. I'd be like that. I'm sorry. I was just so fucking scared. You froze. It's okay. I wanted to kill it. I really did. I, I know him. That was one of Gabe's friends. True. He was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. That's not true anymore. I know it, it still looks like him, but the kid you knew. He's gone. All that's left is this thing. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead. Muertos. <sighs> Muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. I'm right here, okay? I'm here. You're here. We're still alive. That's what matters. Can we go back now? Ain't that sweet. So that's where they got the Morthos. I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back, but it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there for an empty can. Okay. So, we'll leave. Go somewhere else. Somewhere safer. Somewhere with crazy thick walls, okay? And a gate that's 20 feet tall. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. They're not. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? They're Kate. so young. We're safe inside the house. A and I bet we can find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We're tired of being afraid every time we leave you guys alone. And it's just getting worse out there. Better to leave now. While we still can. But what about Dad? 
What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? Your dad would want us to do this game. He'd want us to survive. We've been so young. Here. My gosh, at look at him. Early. I'm sorry, Gabe, but Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Gabe, honey. You don't have any more friends. They're dead. What? I saw it true. What's what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? She's sad. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean he, he was one of them? Yeah. We're so sorry, Gabe. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? We what got are we going to tell him? I want to say something good. Just tell him we love him. All of us. And nothing's gonna change that. Not ever. I like that. I'm gonna write it right now, so we don't okay. forget. Of course. I'll help him. Aww. Thank you. Really. What's with that look? Dad? Javi? Is that really you? Yeah. And your son. <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. I... I thought you were dead, man. I, I thought you'd been dead for, for a long time. No such luck. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? <laughs> she's been shot. And we got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. Thanks, Javi. For getting her here. She's coming inside! But she hasn't been checked. This is my wife, Max. You want her to die? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. Don't you get it? I'm David's brother. I'm going to the hospital with them. We have procedures here. Procedures that have to be followed. Even if you are related to David. Ah, this is bullshit. Come on. The sooner you come along, the sooner we can get you cleared. Hey, David! Mm. Let's go. <sighs> Trip. Oh God, oh, Eleanor. When we found the car without you in it. I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. 
They promised me someone would look into it. Please, tell me they found her. Well, luckily we found her before she got any worse. They just took her to the hospital. I can't believe no one went to look for her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. Oh, it's okay. It ain't your fault. What? The people here in Richmond. Their new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. <laughs> One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Hobby. Maybe it's a good thing. We've got somebody on the inside. Somebody who can vouch for us. Vouch for you, maybe. Hobby could be right. At one word from David, and the others came running to take Kate to the hospital. Whoever this guy is, he is can't he be the all leader? bad, right? I mean, he must be at least high rank. I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. <laughs> Kate is married to your brother? David was gone. I had to step up. Make sure the family would be okay. It's not like I could just walk away from her. From any of them. No. Of course not. I like this girl. Oh, family wow. drama aside. Hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I, I know you understand. didn't have much stake in Prescott, Javi. But they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me. I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Javi. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, that's one hell of an accusation. Saying he had his own family shot? You really believe he'd do something like that? After seeing how he was with Kate? Could be he was just putting on a show for us. But that's crazy. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along? He seemed happy enough yeah. to see you up there. If you want to hear me say he's an asshole, fine. He's the biggest asshole I know. Question is, is he a big enough asshole to go <laughs> along with some of the shit they've done? I don't think so. I really don't. If your don't. brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just going to let things slide. I've never really been an eyebrow kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Which was? Come on already. Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. What about the rest of my friends? They're not invited. Hurry up now. Okay. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip, just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi. Just go. I'll put in a good word for you, okay? See if we can't hurry the process along a bit. Thanks. along with them for now that doesn't sound good we have a process our own way of doing things your guys better not have a problem with that things don't go well for troublemakers here no problem you won't have to worry about them didn't sound that way they just need time to get used to things I hope you're right come on Where are we going? 
Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. He shouldn't have done that. I wanted to tell you myself. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? We got along well. Her smile kept me going through a lot of rough times. That... must have been nice. How... How did she die? Tell me how it happened. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate, too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Fuck. I need details. What the hell went down out there? Well... I need to know exactly what happened. Bastards knocked me out and threw me in their truck. I got away near this town, Prescott. The same assholes attacked us there. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Oof. Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. I can be impressive when I try. I'll follow your lead. Just don't get cute. I run security here, but it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Mm. Who's the fresh meat? Ava is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? Welcome to civilization. My brother talked about me. All the time at the start. All good, I hope. I think you know the answer to that. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. That woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house at the start. I'm sorry I never found you. It doesn't matter now. We found each other in the end. It matters to me. Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought you had it in you. We took care of each other. And we all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. It took the end of the world. But you finally grew up.
This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> I was gonna say the same about you. It's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. A damn fine walker. I'm pretty sure you have to say that. Doesn't make it not true. Uh, what, you okay? Uh, my... oh, shit. I'll get the dock. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you, alone. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die. Everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? Yeah, I know what you mean. This place gives me the creeps. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you'd been won over by the security here. Yeah, no. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. I hear you, Kate. But we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Javi. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. Ooh. Whatever. Just, please... Please don't leave me alone for too long. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills 9 out of 10. That would be Eleanor. One of my friends you threw in quarantine. Well, she's no use to anyone there. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. Whoop. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can vouch for the rest of them too, right? It doesn't work that way. But we'll make the case for them soon. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. Okay. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. 
Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like I'm home at last. I hope Richmond can become your home. I know David would like that. And nothing pleases me more than seeing families reunited. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Everything looks so good. I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so... Yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. I always do what I'm told. I ask my older brother. You're gonna fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. I've seen that mark a few times. You probably saw it at the gates. Right, Javi? We all took it as a sign of commitment. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim. One worth fighting for. <sighs> Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. <laughs> Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. Let's see how this goes. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That, that's not all. He shot Rufus. In the back. You did what? We found the body near the wreck of Rufus's truck. That wasn't my finest moment. So you admit it. If I could take it back, I would. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to killers. We're trying to build something different here. Everything I did out there was to protect my people. That's more than I can say for you. Oh. I'm not sure what you mean. Javi? You have something to say? Hmm. Oh. No. That's it. That's right. He knows what he done. There ain't nothing more to say. Uh, it's clear your brother doesn't belong here. 
Hobbyist people have to go. You're overreacting. It was a scuffle over supplies. <laughs> We've exiled people for less. Sorry, David. Your soldiers are already wild enough. We can't add more crazy to the mix. Take Javi and everyone in quarantine to the gate. Give them a pack with a bare minimum to survive. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend, too. But the rest of you... You're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay? I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said. Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! This isn't her fault, Trip. You're mad at the wrong person. Oh. Do not fuck this up. I like her bunch. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. Everything was going okay. At first. I don't know what happened back there. Yeah, well, I got a pretty good idea what's gonna happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. <laughs> What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Oh. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. We don't even know where the hell we are on this thing. We're probably right okay. here. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. That's where we are. And that's where we need to go. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Let's go. Trip, come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you. I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. You won't lose anyone else. I won't let that happen. I'm gonna hold you to that, Hobby. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know you got my back, and I got yours. Of course. Yeah. After you.
Jesus got his eye on something. Jesus? Okay. What you got for me? My new favorite character. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Careful with this. Thank you. We're even now. Thank you. I thought you were getting out of here. I was. The walkers are everywhere. I had to cover myself in walker guts to get away. Come on. We're heading to a factory nearby. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. New Frontier kick you out? Doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. Not all of us. Kate and Gabe are still there. With David. David? That asshole's still around? This is gonna sound really weird, but... He's my brother. What? Wait. This place we're going? David sent you there? It's supposed to be safe. Clem! You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. Flashback. Ava and I were in this unit together back in the army. And uh, believe it or we're not, we're gonna get you the medicine you need, AJ. I don't care what they say.
hang in there, goofball. This is gonna get you better. Clown. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? Um, I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin, that's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you, it could save someone's life if used right. It's the only thing that can save him. Except it can't. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. I'm sorry. You know what they do to thieves here. I can't. I have to try. Come on, goofball. I need you to be brave for me now. See? It's not so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, Jay. Shh. What the hell is this? I told her it was a bad idea. Are you fucking high again? Pull yourself together before the others see you. Deal with the damn kid. What the fuck were you thinking? You were told those drugs couldn't help him. How could you be so stupid? So selfish? I had nothing left to lose. AJ was gonna die if I didn't. He's gonna die anyway. That waste? That'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. Come on, David. She was just trying to help her kid. We helped enough! We should have left him out in the woods a week ago! But look! It's helping! It doesn't work that way, Clem. You bought him a peaceful moment. <laughs> Nothing more. I wish I could tell you it would save him, but that's the reality. Then it was worth it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Without a goddamn thought for anyone else. We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. There's no place for you in the New Frontier. I made the right call. One you refused to make. Well, I'm making one now. Get your shit and get out. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. I'm not leaving without him. AJ can't travel. All we can do now is make him comfortable. I'm not leaving without him. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. It's what's best for both of you. Ooh. No! You monsters! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Oh. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that other one. Be strong, Goofball. Be strong for me. Let's go.
that's what I get for trusting other people. Again. This is what David circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. And push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. I know, I probably should. Locked. Shit. Look for another way in. It's our only chance. Go, oh, man. This thing ain't as strong as we thought. Hurry it up. Come on, come on. Come on. it a little but I don't know, something's wrong with it jammed or some shit maybe we can force it open we're gonna have to well there's a car no wheels shit god damn it close hopefully that door holds him hey I'm here David don't you dare let that fucking baby killer in Clem don't make me do this Clem don't do it Javi he has a son, Clem. Just like you did. What the fuck? Open it. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Ask your brother. She's trouble. Trust me. How could you do that to Clem? God, what if it had been Mariana or Gabe? What did she say? That you left her to die. No, we kicked her out. A little girl, all alone out there. Do you think Mariana could have survived that? We had rules. Clem broke them. I would have done the same to anybody. She knew what would happen. Don't feel sorry for her. Everybody fucks up, man. What about forgiveness? We couldn't afford forgiveness. Did he suffer? Please. I have to know. No. 
I wouldn't have let him. But I didn't have to worry about that. He lived. Clown. Oh. He lived. He's still alive. Wow. He was dying. Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was a miracle. You're lying. That's great, Clem. This is good news. How am I supposed to believe you? Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We used to store a vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Not happening, David. They're my family as much as yours. Is that what you think? Last I checked, Kate was my wife and Gabe was my son. Shit! Board it up. We need something to buffer. Something heavy. There! Help me! Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. What the hell is all this? These could come in handy. Don't want to just take them, but... I might be going crazy, but... I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts. Your people looted this stuff from Prescott, David. Come on, we can't know that. Who else knew about this place? Your outfit is the only one that gutted my town. This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Take cover. Fuck him. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. That shit is the new gold. And now we get to see your head pop, you piece of shit. <laughs> David! I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... Stop him! He's getting away! Go! Get Badger! Ah! 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 Ah!
that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do. Goddamn guts out. Fuck. This is for Mariana. She was a sweet little girl, just minding her own business. Not anymore. Fuck her. And fuck you too. Get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. <laughs> That's enough, man. He's gone. For God's sake, Hobby! Richmond! Come on, David. This is Richmond. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? I ain't got nothing to say. There's no use holding out, Max. The best you can do is make things right. We... we weren't doing it without support inside Richmond. Joe was in on it. We did it on her orders. She... she said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, go kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. We don't need your help. I'm begging you. <laughs> 